Welcome back into episode number seven of Flipping from Zero. If you haven't followed along in this series, in episode number one, we started with zero dollars. We found some items from around our house that we don't use anymore, flipped those for some money, and we have continuously reinvested our profits in this little side hustle to my already like ginormous business. But we are continuously reinvesting that money that we earn in this series just on the side. We've gotten over like seven, eight hundred dollars in profit. I don't even remember what the number is because it keeps going up and I can't spend it fast enough. Good problem to have. But let's show you guys all the inventory that we have accrued over the last couple episodes if you have not been following along. First off, I can't remember if it was episode three or four, but we got all of these empty iPad boxes. I wish these were iPads. They're not. They're just the boxes. Got these from the local school that I coach at. So got these completely free, guys. And I've been selling them for like $11 each, and most people buy more than one. You'll see I actually sold some today. We'll break that down in a little bit. This is controlled chaos over here. We've been hitting up the liquidation stores, all the Amazon like liquidation stores. And that's what all this is. All of these are on 50 cent days. I've been hitting up a few different ones of those. So they are sorted in bags. I just got to get some more tubs. I'm out of those. So we'll sort them better. But everything is sorted and I can find it. Um, we sold a lot of stuff from this. Even all the way down to here, we got the boots there as well. I kind of got stuff all over the place because I'm trying to put it with stuff that it's like instead of just putting it all in this one area because that gets like really confusing even though those boots are sitting there. I'm working everything into their areas and I'll remember what I have. Um, we got a couple pairs of Converse's actually that are in here somewhere that we got. There they are. Uh, we got these in the last episode actually. Why the heck is there a hanger on there? We're just gonna figure that out later. We got three pairs of these. If you remember, those were $18. Those should sell pretty well. Oh, and I also forgot, like I said, I'm putting everything with stuff that it's like, um, we have one more pair of jeans. We picked up two of those at the Coles clearance event. So it's the 30 by 30, I believe in there. And then over here, we actually have three pairs of these Ohio State shoes, which I actually sold two of them today. So we'll break those down, but we picked those up last episode. Those were $40 each. And then we also picked up all these track shoes in the last episode. So uh, those were $20 each on all these. They come with the spikes. Um, so those would be some good profits. But it's been a crazy weekend. This is just my normal business aside from everything that's sold from flipping from zero. Someone bought three iPad cases, $11 each, so $33. We'll show you guys how we ship those. Everything else here is going to be USPS Ground Advantage under one pound. If you haven't watched this series before, I only show how I ship things over a pound because if it's under a pound, you're usually just sliding it in a poly mailer and sending it USPS Ground Advantage. And then someone else bought a single iPad case for $10.99, and I will just send that in a padded mailer. We sold these Samsung cases. Again, I'll throw all of the solds up on the screen because my memory might not be great. Um, these were around like 12 or 13 dollars we sold this ultra hd 4k for like 18 dollars we lotted these up actually in a lot of 12 for these uh ice ball maker mold things um sold those for 20 bucks this to me proves you can literally sell anything guys just start flipping crap on the internet i literally listed a fart filter prank box for ten dollars that i got at the bins a couple episodes ago and it's sold for $10, and this thing weighs nothing. I'll just throw it between some cardboard, throw it in a padded mailer. It'll be good to go, probably 8, 12 ounces. These I just picked up the other day. Sold a lot of four of these for like $22. These were on 50 cent day as well. Then we sold all these CDs for various prices, usually like $10 to $12 on these. Um, some of them were down to like $9. I'll just throw the prices up on the screen as I'm holding them up. Um, sold two of these Beyonce's actually. We sold this iPad case for like 12 bucks. So we're going to package all that up and we will continue to add to our bank. Also forgot to mention, we sold two pairs of these that we just picked up at the end of the last episode. Those were $40 each. Those sold for 80 a piece on eBay plus the 15 authentication shipping. I actually showed how to ship a bunch of these last episode, but if you didn't watch that, I'll show it real quick again. You can see, we sold three of them for $10.99. We're going to put in our weight and dimensions, find a box that fits them. I got a stack of a bunch of used boxes over there that I'm just reusing. People give me, tell people you know what you do, and you will get some good sized boxes. A little big, but that's okay. Dimensions aren't going to affect it here at the two, three pound rate, whatever it is. So we got the three pound rate. When we put it on the scale, we throw that over here. We got the weight and dimensions in there as well. 
You can see comparing our rates, we're just going to pick the cheapest one. USPS Ground is 807. UPS Ground 719, 720 priority, but we also want to check Pirate Ship, which actually I've been doing pretty much all my shipping out of Pirate Ship lately because look at that. That's cheaper. That's cheaper. That's cheaper. We're going to go Ground Saver and call it a day. Then we'll just print that off, slap it on the package, and good to go. Plus $22 to the bank for those iPad boxes. Plus $140 to the bank for the Ohio State shoes. Plus $13 on those filters. Plus $13 on the Blu-ray. These ended up being over a pound for these ice makers, so not as much, but still made seven bucks. Plus $16 on the two Samsung cases. Plus $15 on the CDs. Plus $5 on the iPad case. Only $3 on the empty iPad box, the single, and plus $4 on the fart filter box. And if you're new to this series or haven't watched all the way through the other ones, I just round to the nearest whole number. So it's $4.51. It's going to be $5. $4.39. It's going to be $4. And also, when I'm adding the money to the bank, I'm not taking out of cost of goods sold because we are continuing to reinvest our money back into the business. So there's no reason to take that out. We are only taking out the fees and the shipping. Now let's head off to a bin store and see if we can load up on some more inventory. So if you haven't watched this series before or you're not sure what a bin place is, basically they're just taking all this stuff from like Amazon pallets and other pallets and dumping it in these bins and then they make it like 50 cents or a dollar. This was on 50 cent day so I'm showing you everything that I picked up. You can see I've got a full cart. We got those little Cricut Press holders and then we got these stars and a bunch of other stuff underneath. That's everything that I showed at the beginning of the video in all those tubs and bags. like. I'm getting it from all these places. Got a Nintendo Switch holder. We got a bunch of these Star Wars figures. Another one of these iPhone holders. So you can see, you can really make a lot of money and you really don't have to spend that much. And I got all that for just $43. Pretty cool to be getting daily sales already from this series. That means we've built up a decent bit of inventory. Uh, we sold this MacBook case here for $13. We sold this cable for $10, and then we sold this Canon battery that we found a couple times ago. This is one of our better finds on 50 Cent Day. Sold this for $50. All those were from 50 Cent Bins, plus $6 on the MacBook case, plus $5 on the cable, and plus $40 on the Canon battery. And if you guys think me throwing the packages like this is going to damage them, they're going to see a lot worse along the way. We are officially back from vacation and ready to go in this series. We sold a ton of stuff, so let's get right down to it. Not bad for a week on vacation mode. Yes, I left my store on, allowed sales. I explained that in my last What Sold video. We've got all this going out, everything from the 50 cent bins, except for these iPad cases, which we'll start on. Basically on the two that sold, I'm going to find a box they fit in, then on eBay select the cheapest rate after I put the weight and dimensions in, and then this one I'm just gonna send in a padded mailer. Everything else here as well is USPS Ground Advantage under one pound. That's why I really recommend selling things under one pound because it's super cheap and it's super easy to know what stuff's going to cost to ship. These sold for 10 bucks a piece. These sold for $12 a piece. Miley Cyrus CD, even though it's cracked, like I said, you can sell cracked CDs, just list it that way. As you can see, I put in the title, sold that one as well. Um, we picked up this pillowcase a couple weeks ago in one of them. Pretty cool, it's got the license plates. Sold that for 18. Um, I think this sold for like 10 bucks. Uh, we got these dog uh, seat belts plus a bowl, sold that for 10 bucks. And then we got this Halloween costume, which they think they're getting a deal because it says $22.97 and I sold it for $16.99. We're not quite up to the level of my normal business, but Nice little stack from this series going out. Plus $9 on the costume. Plus $4 on the dog seat belts. Plus $16 on the two iPad cases. Three iPad cases. Plus $14 on those two blue CDs. Plus $12 on the pillowcase. Plus $6 on the Miley CD. Plus $5 on the Blu-ray. And plus $10 on the two cables. All right, two days later, and we've got four more things going out. We've got this uh, filter here that sold for 20 bucks. We got these that I sold in a lot. I don't remember what I sold these for, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, this sold for 20 bucks. It's a camera lens. And then these two bags sold these for 18 bucks. So we'll get all that packed up. Plus $12 on the filter, plus $9 on the bags, plus $14 on the lens. And plus $17 on these filters. They uh, actually need to go in a padded flat rate, but I'm out. I Hello, darkness, my old friend. only have express mailers left over here, so 
I'm gonna just pick one of those up when I drop my packages off and I'll take them out of that bag and put them in the padded. Had a huge quarter for a weekend in my normal business, but in the flipping from zero series, it is only scaling up as well. This is everything going out. We sold another iPad case, 11 bucks. Uh, these two that we just picked up in Dallas, these Longhorns polos for $16.99 at Burlington. Sold those for 45 a pop on eBay. These that we picked up, I think it was last video. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, it was probably several uh, ago, but we picked these up for $19.99. They came with the spikes from Marshalls. So those for $65. Um, then everything else is from the 50 cent bins. Um, so we had $2 total in all these. I sold them in a lot of four for $22. Uh, we actually sold an Among Us flag, but it looks like I grabbed a the wrong one. Yeah, I grabbed the Wednesday flag. So I'll go uh, replace that with the Among Us flag. But we sold an Among Us flag. Um, we sold this case for like 11 bucks, and then we sold these little paddles here for 20 plus $51 Nike track shoes, plus $7 Among Us flag, plus $13 those filter things, plus $70 on the UT polos, plus $5 Samsung case, plus $5 iPad box, plus $13 paddles. And actually just sold a CD, that Paramore one. So $6 on that. All right, back out at the warehouse. Got a bunch of other stuff to pack up. I'm actually out here the next day because I sold some reseller boxes. So while I'm out here, I might as well pack everything up. We sold three things from the series. $12.99 on this. We've sold a ton of these. Remember, I found a couple more of these uh, last episode or a couple episodes ago. Then we sold this walking boot that I found. All this was on 50 cent day. Um, this one sold for like $28. And then this sold for $9 on Mercari. These two will be ground advantage under one pound. So easy ships. This one, I'll show you guys how I ship. Super simple. All we're going to do on this is find a form fitting box because every inch matters and it will save you money if you cut down on the dimensions. That's all my bigger boxes. I think I have a box that's going to fit it pretty well. Um, so we'll put it in this guy. Fits actually perfectly in this box. We got the three pound rate. We already measured it. We put those in. We're over here in pirate ship. Pirate Ship has been getting really good rates lately, a lot better than eBay, so I've been shipping a lot of stuff out of here. Then we come and we review our rates. I'm already going to UPS today, so UPS Ground Saver on something over a pound used to cost over like seven bucks. On eBay, this would be 720 would be the cheapest rate, or 705 Ground Advantage, so you can see how it's a lot cheaper, but we're gonna go that rate and save ourselves almost a dollar from using eBay shipping. Plus seven on the phone stand, plus four on the AirPod case, and plus 18 on the boot. Before we get into it today, look how beautifully organized everything from this series is. Shout out to my mom for seriously helping me like get everything with stuff that it's like. I've got everything sorted out now, so it's super nice. Kind of crazy too how much stuff we've built up. This one down here too. And we even have some Ohio State shoes and some white Crocs as well that aren't over here. All this from zero dollars. And here's everything going out today. We got four things. Uh, we sold this cracked CD. It's cracked in a couple places. Still got eight bucks for it though. So definitely was worth picking up for 50 cents. All this was picked up 50 cent day. Uh, this is just like a Halloween like door hanging thing. Um, sold that for 10 bucks as well. Got $20 for this filter and $13.99 for this filter. Oh, and just sold another one of these uh, mushroom flags. Plus $5 on the Halloween door hangers. Plus $6 on the filter plus $3 on the CD, plus $10 on the flag, and plus $12 on the filter. $10 day at the bins and I got this smart bidet cover. Here's everything going out from this weekend. Everything sold for $12. This one on Mercari, uh, both of these on eBay. If you remember, I picked this one up um, with those track cleats. They just came with those. So we sold the bag separately. Um, then these two are 50 cent items. Not necessarily the best weekend for this series. But there is a reason for that. I've been grinding on my normal business. Look how much stuff is going out from this uh, short weekend. We have so much stuff going out. And honestly, like quarter four is just hitting me like a ton of bricks. I have too many things to do. So this series is kind of getting put in the back seat. But it also goes to show that even though I haven't really been buying much for this series and haven't been listing much, I have so much inventory that we're still making consistent sales. So it really goes to show you how important inventory is. Plus $19 on these three items. All right, this CD actually just sold as we're packaging up. Eleven uh, ninety nine. It's four ounces. We're just gonna throw in that padded for three ninety two and make about seven bucks profit on it. All right, here's everything going out. We sold the filter for twenty bucks. We sold this guy for like thirteen, I think, and then ten on this, all from the fifty cent bin place. Unfortunately, the bin place is now one dollar on the cheapest day. Been getting a lot of comments like, "I can't believe your bins are fifty cents." Well, they're not anymore. Plus five dollars on the cable. 
plus 13 on the filter, plus 8 on the action figure. I showed you guys all this that my mom helped me organize. Look at this. The iPad cases are looking nice. And as I am leaving, I just packed up those other three things and everything else. We sold another one of these iPad cases for $11. We'll make like three, four bucks on that. I'll put that up on the screen and add it to the pot. Finally back at the bins after a long time away. Again, it is now $1 day, not 50 cent day, but we still found a good haul of stuff. All that, 24 bucks. All right, here's everything going out today. Another cord for $10. Another one of these for $13. And then we got this costume that we picked up a couple bin stores ago, and that sold for $18. All this was from 50 Cent Day, and all of it's under a pound. On top of that, we also went to a place on $2 Day, a liquidation place. They had a bunch of flags. You know, I like the flags. Some Mike Tyson, Ali. I don't even know what that one is, but I listed. I think it's Ice Spice or one of those. Uh, we got a Snoop Dogg. Um, then these were really cool. They had a bunch of these, so if these do well, I'm going to go hopefully get them if they're still there. Um, they're Pokemon card binders, um, two bucks, and I have those listed on Mercari, so we'll see what happens. So deduct $50 from the pot for this buy, plus $7 on the action figure, plus $10 on the costume, and I actually sold two of those cables, plus $10 on both of those. So here's everything going out today. We've got another one of these iPad boxes that we sold for 11 bucks. Again, those were free. Um, these were from the 50 cent bins. We sold out of these. Someone bought two of these as well. Um, 10 bucks each on those. 50 cent bins as well. Um, $14 on each of these. And then another 50 cent bin. And this one sold for 10. This is all under a pound. So it all go USPS ground advantage under one pound. Plus $43 profit. As I'm wrapping up my weekend haul for the normal business, I sold one of these uh, Adams flags that we've had pretty good luck with. Uh, $12.99 on those. Those are from the 50 cent bins. You can see what it's going to cost to ship, plus $7 to the pot on this. Another day back out at the warehouse, we sold all this from this series. First, we sold this external drive for $19. We got $20 for this guy. This was all from, uh, or these two were from 50 cent bins. This one was from Marshalls, if you remember correctly. I got it with those track and field cleats. And remember, I said I was going to sell this separate, which I did for 12 bucks. You can catch these as I throw them. Plus $5 on the album thingy. Plus $12 on the CD drive and plus seven dollars on the nike bag lone soldier going out today but it's pretty crazy how many we've sold of these like that's something that's a nice volume play that you can sell the same listing a bunch of different times another 14 dollars on this guy plus seven dollars to the pot as i was packing up i just sold another one of these so add another three dollars to the pot apparently i needed to ship a bunch of stuff because now a bunch of stuff is selling from the series we sold a pair of these bad boys we got three of those left Pick those up, remember, from Finish Line for $15. Um, and then we sold them here for $43. We've already got the weight and everything in. It's going to be $7.20. So we'll add $30 to the pot on those. All right, it was a quality little weekend for this series from the bin stores. We sold this MacBook case for $12.99. That was $0.50. Cents, $0.50 cents on this as well. Sold that for $14. And then we got these at Marshall's, if you remember. I think that was the last episode or the episode before. Uh, $20 and sold those for $60. And then the free iPad boxes are still flying. One buyer bought two. Another buyer bought one. First off, since I get asked this in all of my videos, yes, I do take the Marshall's tag off. I just leave it on to show you guys what I paid for it. So I will cut that off. We can see we have the three pound rate. We're going to use this box most likely. Even if it's a dollar more, um, if I can use the free priority shoe box, I will do that. Yep, three pound rate, three pound, 15, eight, five is the correct dimensions, 720. So a lot of times this one will be like around like 820 and then ground advantage will be around 720. But I've got a free box, so usually I'll still just use that. So those will be pretty simple. Uh, this is just the priority mail shoe box. You can get these for free on the USPS website. Plus $46 on the shoes, plus $7 on the Star Wars figure, plus $6 on the Mac case, and plus $17 on the iPad boxes. Editing this video right now and completely forgot to mention the giveaways. Congratulations to Captain Jayhawk for winning the $10 and Honey Buns. I can't say that without laughing. I don't know why. I've tried to say it like four times in a row. Basically, in these videos, I give away a moneymaker bag and $10, and all you have to do is comment anything down below, and random winners will be selected in next episode of Flipping from Zero. All right, guys, and that will wrap it for this episode of Flipping from Zero. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Hopefully, I'm able to make some more buys next episode. It's been crazy. We're in the midst of quarter four, and trying to run this normal side hustle on top of my normal six-figure business is becoming quite time-consuming. So I will definitely be going at it harder in the new year when sales start to slow down a little bit and I have some more extra free time. 
but we're not going to stop. We're going to keep making sales from this series. And who knows when a good buy comes up, we have a decent bit in the bank that we can use on it as well. So thank you all for all the support. Also, I just wanted to mention, I just dropped these today. You guys will be seeing it about a month later from when this video is out. I uh, dropped these new profit bags for the Christmas season. Jesus is the reason for the season. And all profits from those bags will be going towards Operation Christmas Child, which in that video, I explain what that is about. So you can check those out on my website at mpmerch.com. Also, if you're interested in learning more about reselling or getting some daily online leads, you can check out my reselling group, Bread and Butter Group. First link in the description. Keep on flipping, guys, and let's keep making that money. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.